This is what many people think of when considering their morning commute. This is Hague Lake Road off Highway 986 outside of Peace River, Alberta. It's a higher grade gravel road with lots of truck traffic. For workers at the Otter Lake Compressor Station construction site, the morning commute means a two-hour drive if the weather cooperates. It's significant driving distance from Peace River. I think it's approximately 320 kilometers round trip. Last summer, the Woodland Cree First Nations and its partner, APCO Structures and Logistics, began work on a 125-person work camp for the construction phase of the Otter Lake Compressor Station. To date, 57 Woodland Cree members have been employed on the project through Mercal, TransCanada's prime contractor for clearing and grading the site. Mercal was able to uh, provide a good safety message, make sure that the safety culture was there with their company, pass that on to their subcontractors and their direct hired labor, and I think everyone bought into that safety message and that safety culture, and the results speak for themselves. It was the best way to get everybody to site safely. Each day, a 15-vehicle convoy headed to the work site. That's more than 800,000 kilometers traveled, all without a serious incident. The safety's been phenomenal on this job to date. Over the past six years, TransCanada has awarded several contracts to Woodland Cree First Nation businesses. I think working with the Woodland Cree uh, from the get-go has been pretty positive. We made sure that during our initial consultations, uh, they were engaged, they were well aware of what our project looked like um, and potential opportunities for them to be engaged in our project. They've so far been involved uh, early on in um, clearing work as well as the grading work with Mercal uh, and that started in late September. So there's been, there's been I think some good benefit to the Woodland Cree as the result of our project. The 28.3 megawatt Otter Lake compressor station is scheduled to go into service by late 2015 adding more capacity to the North Central Corridor pipeline. Matthew Shanks calls it a big safety plus to house construction workers in a camp, thereby avoiding that lengthy daily commute. So I think with having this ACO camp on site specifically for our project, we achieve all of those goals, we hit the safety, we hit morale, we hit productivity, and that should have a big payback for us when we are constructing this facility. Now with the camp in place, construction of the Otter Lake Compressor Station can shift into high gear.